Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1990 by Sunsoft. Obviously it's based on the original Tim Burton movie that was released in 1989 which is still to this day my favourite version of Batman and Michael Keaton is still my favourite Batman and more specifically he's my favourite depiction of Bruce Wayne. Boring random fact in this country I think it was the first movie to be a 12 certificate because they deemed that it was too dark to be well, a, 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 what was it? Uh, a, a PG? Um, but not quite heavy enough to be a 15, although I believe that some video releases of it were a 15. It's funny though, because you watch it now, and even though I love it, it's, it's why I like Tim Burton, but it, it just... <laughs> It's not, it's just, it's not that bad, you know, violence wise. I don't know why it caused such a, a stir. I know that's easy for us to say this, or me to say this. I should say this, you know, many years on from that, but still my favourite Batman. Uh, and funnily enough, um, Batman um, Returns was on tonight, which I absolutely adore, and it's, that's my favourite Batman costume. Anyway, waffling and rumbling. This game was um, the one that was supposed to come packed in with my original Japanese Mega Drive when I imported it. Um, and they didn't, and they put in Rassen Saga too. And yeah, you've heard that story before, but still to this day, I like, piss and moan about it. Anyway, I'll show you the copy I've got right now because it comes in that really, really cool little flip case. I mean, come on, is that not one of the coolest cases you've ever seen? Anyway, right, so this basically follows the movie. Um, obviously, Sunsoft did the version on the, um, the NES as well, which this is kind of more accurate to the movie than that version is. Um, I love this game. This is this is one of my favourite Mega Drive games, and if you're listening to this, it has still to this day some of the best video game music ever. That's such an iconic image of Batman. Um, right, let's get into it. it. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm going to be very very rusty. Oh, isn't that purdy? Right, hang on. Options. Yeah, yeah. Give me lives. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to have loads of lives. You know, creature of the night doesn't mean I can't have seven lives. Right, there we go. I guess in the Catwoman game you'd have nine. See what I did there? Never mind, that was an appalling joke. Ah, Gotham City Street. Wasn't it the biggest set since Cleopatra at the time when it came out? That's cool. Right, so... Oh, that's Ballerang. Floor kick. Jump punch, not kick. Jump punch on um, punch. Well, for someone who's devoted his life to, you know, training to be an absolutely incredible vessel of vengeance, uh, you know, for the innocent, possibly you could have worked on a few more moves. Yay, it's very Shinobi-esque. The graphics are brilliant, the colours are brilliant, um, and it's got some really nice parallax. Look at that. That's just so mongously good parallax. If you look at the bottom, bottom left, the yellow is my health. Um, that really, really cool little picture of my face is, well, my lives, and then there's the number of bat ranks I have. Odd choice, jumping punch, not flying kick. I'm not gonna complain. It was really nice, oh shit. Thuddy noise, you know, when you punch them and shit. Boom, yes. You know, it does, it, the, the, the Batman sprite's absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's gonna start raining, must be global warming. Yeah, you, you know, it's kind of like Super Shadowies in the way it plays. Well, that probably would be more expansive, but there are vehicle stages in this. You can drive the Batmobile and you can drive, drive? You can sky drive the Batwing. There we go, it's pissing down, shit. Michael Fish got it wrong. Look at this, longest road in the world. You can actually see the coverage of the Earth. Oh, plus, ugh. these traffic signals just love the pedestrian. I completely lost my train of thought, never mind. Um, I like the sequel on the snares. Can you say it's a sequel? It's, it's not really, but that's just a you know a brawler. Whereas I would say this is more of a platformer than a brawler. Oh, you got double jump, haven't you? There we go. Which you have to, because I remember this. Um, the first time you play this game in ages, 
and you get to the Axis uh, um, Chemicals Factory. Ooh. If you um, if you forget about double jump, you just get you get stumped in one box, and no one likes being stumped by a box, especially when you're at college. Sorry. Um, right, oh, I got. Yeah, there we go. I got grappling gun. Hang on. Now the rumor is right because um, Val Kilmer in Batman Forever. Uh, I don't hate Batman Forever. It's not a perfect movie, but the rumor is there is an R-rated version that will never see the light of day. That's a lot darker, and they were so worried about the reception of Batman Returns, even though that did by no means tanked. I actually saw Batman Returns in Boston, and I still wish I think I might still have the cool collectible cups from McDonald's because that was their promotion, but yeah, it was by no means a, you know, a, a flop, but they were, it wasn't what the first movie was. So they were so shit in their pants scared about it that they recut um, Batman Forever, and that's why, you know, it's by no means a Batman and Robin, you know, fucking train wreck of shit time, but um, that's why it's kind of very light-hearted. But I'd love to see, the like, oh, don't wish about rains because this angry bloke comes out. I'd love to see, you know, that version finally be released. Plus, yeah, I thought Falcon was quite a good Batman. It was not brilliant. Ooh, right. That's my health. Yeah, he's just got to be cheap. He's like Balrog, isn't he? You know, or Bison, depending on which version of Street Fighter you are familiar with. I'm having that. Yes. Oh, shit. No, I wasted a Batarang. Oh, bollocks. Oh, crap. I forget what the trick is. Um... Well, no, don't just run in and face plant him. Oh, that's it. Jump behind him. But watch the health. Double jump is kind of a little bit... Uh, odd to... Oh, no. There we go. To pull off sometimes. But that might just be the fact that my pad is rapidly getting old. Shit. No, no, you don't. Oh, you fucking wanker. What a diversive criminal you are. You're just angry and punchy and kicking. Here we go. This is my favourite scene in the movie. Plus, uh, people say that the Joker, it, it, he's probably my favourite Joker as well. Yeah, he's not his darkest, he, you know, ledger. And if you go back to the, yeah, I saw you come in, you pricks. The original comic book, the Joker is, you know, more so in the 80s, I guess. Ooh, it's going to blow up. I'll get up here. That's it. I don't know how you train your, your villains for that, but this is that bit I was talking about, which if you don't know the, the double jump, you get fucked immediately. But look at the background, like the you know the, the chemicals coming out, the little fans wearing. It's it's so good. But yeah, the Joker is a horrifically violent, and bad you know villain. That kind of got away from me. So people said like, well, Jack Nicholson, he wasn't a good Joker. It was too Jack Nicholson. I'd love Jack Nicholson's Joker. There we go. Stunts me, well, you just stunt me as a kid loads of times. I didn't realize that, you know, Axis Chemicals had such good defenses. Oh, oh, bollocks, these fucking skiddy along the floor people are really irritating. Jump, jump, Forrest, jump, jump, gump, jump. Look at that, he's just he's, he's hunting a rabbit, he's just waiting up there. I said, well, he's, he's, he's a random shooty guy, right? Boom, that's really satisfying, right? Nice, right, duck. Why don't you aim at the floor? Oh, my finger's slipping off the D-pad. Oh, that was lucky. Nice, oh, I forgot how good the music is. Right, up. I'll tell you what, for a chemical factory. Well, I mean, I know it's the setup from the movie, but you got a lot of blokes in here. Oh. Yes. Boom. Right. Oh, hang on. Shoot then. Very Star Trek noise, isn't it? There we go. Hang on. It's convenient. I remember this. Drop straight down. Just because you can. Although. Moonwalk. Yeah. Right. Anyway. I'm. Ooh. I have no idea how I missed that. Nice. Double nice. Is it a boss now? No, but that's a good way to kill yourself. Um, don't forget you got bat rings, Dave. Now we got more. 
Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. I just want to give you a little bit of flavour of one of my favourite Sega Mega Drive games of all time. And that's the movie version of Batman. Still, for such an early game, a great showcase of... Is this platform going to... Yes, of course it is. A great showcase of, you know, how confident the system was, graphic-wise. Just going to take one more bazooka bloke out. Bye. That's a horrible death. He just fell into the ooze. Now, did I just create another Joker? Oh, shit. Double jump. Oh, bollocks. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.